Hello, my name is Miles Brining from Innova Systems and today we're going to be having a look at creating a wooden table. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is start a sketch here. Uh, the sketching is obviously used in SOLIDWORKS to create most of the features. Uh, I'm going to give a certain depth to this tabletop here and what we're going to then do is add some detail to the sides of it. So. Uh, just if you're wondering, I have sped the video up just slightly here, just to save some time. Um, what we're using here is some of the standard functionality within SOLIDWORKS to produce some additional detail on the sides. This here is a part file. So we're going to save the part file here in, our, in one of our directories. We're going to add some appearances just to make it look more realistic with our, with our wooden table. We can also apply um, different mappings to the table to make the appearance look more realistic. Next thing we're going to do here is create another part file. We're going to actually going to produce a leg that is going to hold this tabletop up. As you can see here, it's very easy to add dimensions. We can also add relations to our sketches, which add intelligence, which are the green dots, which I'm now adding in. So again, I can add lines in very quickly. I can add tangent arcs in very quickly. Uh, it will automatically add relations for me as well if it thinks it's appropriate. And the general approach is to try and add these lines in as quickly and easy as possible and then go and alter them afterwards. So what we're trying to aim for is to make the changes within this model. If someone comes up to me later and says, oh, we want to change the sizing of the leg or the shape of the leg, I want to be able to do it quickly and easily without any hassle, which is obviously a major advantage over just doing these in standard dumb 2D lines. So at this point we're just trying to fully define our sketch. So I'm adding in some additional relations here and dimensions waiting for everything to go, all my lines to go black. Okay so we're almost there now, just got a few more. You can still see there's some free movement there, so degrees of freedom. You can drag the blue lines around to find out where that is. I can then tweak the dimensions to get the size right and again extrude it like I did with the tabletop to a certain thickness. In this case it's 68 millimeters. The next item is going to create a sweep again. So again sweep is a very powerful tool. This is going to add some additional detail to the, the ends of these table legs. And again I'm going to use some profiles that I'm producing manually here. The path, however, which is what we're going to sweep our profile along, is actually going to be produced from some additional edges that are already in the model. This means, again, when we go and make a change to the original shape, my sweep will update with it. It's going to add some fillets in, so we're going to smooth out some of the sharps which are in this uh, on this leg. And then we're going to add a base on. So again, I'm using another tool here, which is an offset entity command. This allows me to um, directly reference ex existing edges which are in the model. So again, if they change, the offset will be maintained. Just going to add some a, again some more detail. So some this is a instead of a, a sweep, which we're adding geometry, we're actually going to cut some geometry away from this. I'm also using existing model edges to help me do this. These are all linked, so again, if there's any parametrics involved, things update, it means less things for me to come back later and change, which is the whole idea. We want to make changes as quickly and easy as possible. So we're just making an additional sketch here for a cutout for the, uh, the wheels that sit underneath the legs here. Okay, so that's one leg made. All right, so we're just going to save that as a part file. Now what I'm going to do is I need to make, once we've added the appearance, I need to make another leg, which is very similar. So I'm going to save this as a copy, just give it a slightly different name. And at this stage, I'm going to go ahead and then use the mirror commands to produce a mirror opposite and then save that out. So at this point, I can then go ahead, create an assembly file and then assemble my parts. So I'm going to put my table top in first, and then I'm going to add in my table legs. So I'm just going to browse the files on my C drive and add them in. And now I need to use the make command, which again is a quick, easy way of 
arranging our components, so our legs and the tabletop, in the right position. So again, I can make things touch other things, be perpendicular, be parallel, have a certain distance or an angle from other items. And again, these are all parametric, so if they update, if some of the geometry updates, these will update with it. So I'm just going to center this, this leg here. Now I need to get these two components on the other side of the table. Now rather than me add them in again, I can just mirror them. Nice, nice and easy, very quick. I'm just going to make a quick geometry change to one of the legs. Rebuild it and you can see then that change is updated and pulled straight through into my assembly file. Now I'm just going to save the assembly. I'm going to go ahead and then create a drawing for this. So drawings are like a byproduct of making your 3D geometry in the first place. And you can see how easy it is to add in projected views here. So we're going to add in the standard views and also an isometric view. The isometric view as well, I'm going to put in a shaded mode and make it very easy for us to see it. Now there is some intersections on this model, as you can see there. So again, I need to do some cuts on this. And I'm going to do this so it's related to the other leg. So I'm going to say, okay, well, I'm going to start a sketch here. I'm going to reference these edges, convert them so they're then referencing it, and I'm going to cut through. And you can see now that that cutout is now gone. And you can see there it is in the part file. However, on the other side, depending on how I've mirrored it, that may uh, become a problem as we'll see in a second. Again, just making some quick changes there to the depth, as you can see there and it updates the mirror as well. As you can see down here though, the cut is on the wrong side. One way to get around this is to actually produce a opposite hand version of the leg if required. So I'm just going to pick the right one, create the opposite hand, save it into the original file and you can see now that's produced the desired result. So that looks good. I'm just going to go and add in the another assembly file now. This is going to be the wheels. So we're just going to mate it into the right position, similar to how we did the legs. And this is put in. And I'm going to use another command called copied with mates. This quickly and easily allows me to add in uh, this, this wheel assembly again onto other areas of the model. See, it's very quick and easy to do that. And now I'm just going to add that to the existing mirror I did earlier. That means when I go OK, they'll be copied across to the other side there, as we can see. There they are. Next, we'll go back to the drawing. I'm going to go ahead and then add in some model dimensions. So these are imported from the model. Gosh, there's no need for me to add them in again. It can auto arrange them all. It does add in quite a lot. Um, a lot of these ones on the, uh, on the center here are from the actual wheel assembly. I don't actually want them. So again, if I don't, I can just delete those drag and then delete the ones I don't need and if I need to add any additional edges then I can just do that manually note as well when I move the drawing views around the dimensions follow it just going to create a quick detail here of a certain area just going to rescale my isometric view just to put it out of the way for the moment I'm going to create a section view. Section views are automatically created once I've put them in. Very, very easy to see. It's almost instantaneous. You can do some very, very complex sections in like seconds with this software. I'm just going to break the alignment and then move it somewhere else on the model. And I'm going to put my isometric back to a different scale. There we go. A very quick drawing made in no time at all. All these dimensions are linked to the model as well, so if I make a change, you can see it updates all of them. And there we have it, a very quick table made in SOLIDWORKS.